Hello everyone, this is a video on how to factory reset this Zyaxel EX5601T0 router, which will also work for the EX5601T1 router. The only difference between those routers, I believe, is the T0 has a uh, module, fibre optic module or SFP port, and the T1 uh, only has a 2.5 gigabit WAN Ethernet port. In my example here, uh, the route has been misconfigured. It isn't plugged into anything, so the internet light won't be on. Um, but what we should see is the wireless lights are not on because they've been configured to be off. Um, I could do the lazy thing and just press the wireless button, but I don't know what other custom settings might be configured on this. So I want to go back to factory defaults. What you'll need is a paper clip or some other very pointy device and on the back of the router just above the power button is a reset hole you'll need to put the paper clip into that and press it until the power light flashes so i'm going to put the paper clip in and i'll let you know when i'm going to press it and you can see what the lights on the front of the router do so i'm going to press it now and hold it down then this power light should start flashing. There we go. And I'm going to let go. The router is now in the process of rebooting, so it'll start up again from the beginning. And hopefully, when it's finished booting, which will be about 90 seconds, the wireless 2.4 and 5 gigahertz lights should be on. Uh, which will indicate that this has gone back to its factory defaults. Be aware that if your internet provider uh, gave you this router, they may have their own custom defaults on it. So doing a factory reset may take it back to the ISP's defaults and not to uh, entirely blank. So for example, if there's PPP settings stored within it, uh, or if your ISP restricts access to some of the uh, web admin pages, that uh, would also be... Uh, still um, restricted if they've set their own custom defaults for when you uh, reset it. And there we go. 2.4 is on, 5 gig should come on momentarily once it's finished sorting itself out. And that is back to factory settings. Hopefully this video has been helpful to you. If it has, it would be really helpful to me if you wouldn't mind subscribing to my YouTube channel. You don't need to have the video notifications switched on, but the subscriber numbers really do help. Thank you very much.